Well, hello there, Chicago Bears fans. It is your lovely host here. It is Rai Rai. Now, in this video will be a special video. And don't worry, it still has to do with something with the Chicago Bears overall. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm not going to break it down in the Bears in Washington because I did that this past Friday. Now, please sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some eat. Or grab some drink, or maybe just maybe you want to chill if you want and hear my thoughts, my opinion, and the subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. In this video, there will be a link. Let's get into this. Now, everyone knows that the Bears' offense, once again, has been struggling. Is Justin Fields ever gonna shine, you know, sling it, or once again, is he a bust like the quarterbacks we had in the past? I don't know what the Bears are gonna do. I don't know how much time and patience they're going to give this guy. If they trade him in any form, no, any other NFL team will want him because he's not performing very well his second year. This is his first full year as a starting QB. So I don't know what the Bears are going to do. You know, I know they don't have the greatest weapons. We heard that excuse before, you know. Now, speaking of, of weapons, Mooney... There's rumors that the Bears wants to give him a contract extension. So I don't know if that's is a good thing or a bad thing. So they're gonna give him all that money, and but you're not gonna give Justin Fields a good O line to protect him. I don't understand that. So I guarantee they're gonna overprice him, and then you know what's gonna happen? Mooney is not gonna play very well. Well, he hasn't been playing very well. This whole entire seasons until that major catch that was awesome. So I mean he's a great player. Don't get me wrong, but they need to spread the ball more, not just for him. I know they have other receivers, but they don't have nobody good. I remember that guy named number seventeen, and he cost us the the game against the Vikings. Am I mad? No. Am I disappointed? Yes. It's just a game, Bears. It's just a game. You know any. NFL player makes mistakes. They all do. Okay. Now, next time we have faced um, Minnesota will be late in the year. And by the time Bears face Minnesota, we'll be out of the playoff contention. I'm sorry. We were not. We were like an up and down team. We really are. Every year, this is the same old crap. Everybody, if you're a true Bears fan, we get excited. I Man, this is. We're going to have a very successful season. We're going to surprise everybody. And then, like, middle of October, we were the same old crap. You know, blow leads. Can't score touchdowns. Only field goals. Now everybody says we want Mitchell back. You know, it's just people talking. Of course, it don't matter who's the quarterback. It's just the people got to protect the quarterback they have. I really think the Bears really want to destroy uh, Justin Fields, his career. Look what happened to Jay Cutler. He didn't have great weapons. You only have um, Brandon Marshall. You know, if that team was very good, we would definitely be Super Bowl champions. I know that sounds silly, but I mean, for a Bear fan, probably you will understand, but I don't know. It just upset me. You know, yesterday was 16 years to the day with a huge comeback between the Bears and the Arizona Cardinals. You remember that? And Rex Grossman was not a very good quarterback at all. But Lovey Smith says, this is my quarterback, and he stuck with him the whole entire year. The defense took us to the Super Bowl. Our defense was not, if that, our defense was not that good year, that year, we would have even be in the Super Bowl that year. But if you had better quarterback, that's the role, we, it might be a different outcome. But probably P. Manning will still beat the Bears regardless who's the quarterback. But anyway... Okay, here is the information about Mooney's contract. The, the Chicago Bears have north of a thousand dollars, or a lot of chunk of change. Probably messed up. Okay, they have a lot of money in two thousand twenty-three, so they can spend it in the right way. Will they do that? We'll find out in off season. So I guarantee Bears gonna keep losing. They lost three, three in a row. Might as well just lose the rest of them. They're not gonna make the playoffs. They're not going to win the division. They're not even going to get a wild card spot. Wild card spot. Sorry. They're not going to do anything. Just lose the rest of it. Tank it. 
might as well just hang it up. Or maybe, just maybe they could shock the world and beat a good team like they did at the beginning of the year when they beat the Niners. Yes, I know it was raining. A win is a win. That's all that matters. So, now if Bears decide to get Mooney a big fat contract, will he um, explode since he got a contract? Remember Devin Hester? He broke a lot of records and Bears decided to give him a big fat contract and he did not really do very well. I, mean, I don't know if he was injured or he was just, I don't know, I don't understand. At least he's going to be in the Hall of Fame sooner than later. So what's your thoughts on this? So it's all the information down below. Hopefully Bears resign him, but don't give him like a, a seven year contract worth $120 million. Is he that good? You tell me, you know, maybe a couple of years. Give him like a, if I was a GM, of course I'm not, give him like a three-year contract extension and worth like $124 million. And I don't know if that's including a signing bonus. I don't think they do it anymore. But don't give him a big fat contract. I remember when Jay Cutler got a big fat contract. Seven years worth a lot of money. No, that's a lot of, that's crazy. We were stuck from that long, you know? He only took us to one divisional, um, not divisional, championship game. Of course, he beat the Packers, beat us, but still. And then he was injured and people were ripping him because he should keep playing. Everyone has their own opinion in the matter. He was a good quarterback, but in media day, he was not a very happy camper. So once again, do you think Bears should re-sign Mooney whenever it happens? Do you think they should do it in the off season? During the season, I think they should just do it after the season because if they did do it during the season, it'd be a major distraction. So all the information down below. Now you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts down below. If you really want to be part of the Raw Show, that's fine, Danny. Have a good one and enjoy your day. And I'll talk to you next Monday. Go Bears. Always. Well, I'm going to be back next Monday. It'll be Tuesday because Bears versus the Patriots. I will discuss that matchup. Take care and and. Go be as always. Later.